Hey, I'm Brian Grubb. We're here in Texas shooting the 2013 Hyperlite and Catalyst line. And I'm going to talk to you today about the Catalyst boards. Um, we have a great line this year for 2013. Um, starting at you know the entry level boards, we have the Stylus. It's a flat deck with a foam top. You know, great for riding the cable and just you know getting behind the jet ski or even just you know your first board that you want to try wake skating on. And then the next board that we have is the Paragon. It's also a wood board with an EVA concave top deck and an EVA uh, deck on top. And uh, that's just a great board. It has you know a concave like you know the higher level boards do. Um, but you know, also is going to be great on the cable, and um, you know, just just a good board to get you started. Also new for 2013, we put a new beveled edge on the stylus and the Paragon. It makes the board ride a lot better, more like a high performance board. And you know, definitely when you're riding without fins, you got a lot more control than than the board used to be in the past. The two boards that that I ride, um, we have the Urso that's a 39 and a 41 inch. Um, it's a wood concave board, grip tape, um, you know, real forgiving rocker line and uh, just a really fun board to ride. I like riding it behind the jet ski and at the cable. Also this year on the Urso board, we changed the construction and added a marine grade epoxy to seal the entire outside of the board. So it makes the board a lot more waterproof and you know it's gonna make it last a lot longer. And also it adds a little bit of weight which is gonna help you out on the water. We also brought back the Model G for 2013. Uh, it's a board that Butch and I shaped together. It's a 42 inch board and the only compression molded board in the Catalyst line. So it's going to withstand any abuse you put it through, either behind the boat or at the cable or even winching. Some of the features that you'll notice on the Model G, it has some of the most extreme concave you'll see on any wake skate on the market. Um, especially on the tail, I mean you can get your foot all the way back on the tail of the board and not worry about it like slipping off the bat because of the extreme concave back there. Um, but it also just feels really comfortable when you stand on it. Um, it's really aggressive, but most of the concave is kicked out towards the rails, so it's still pretty flat through the center, which I really like. Some of the features that you'll notice on the bottom of the board is there's a small channel on both ends of the board just to kind of keep the board tracking a little bit. And also if you ride the board without fins, it's going to hold you in a little bit better. The rocker of the Model G is a blended three-stage rocker, which gives you a ton of pop off the wake and gives you a lot of speed when you land. You'll notice when you pick up the Model G, too, that the board is really heavy. Um, we did that on purpose because when you ride behind the boat, you don't want that board to fly away from you when it's not on your feet. So it's a compression molded board with an internal weighting system. So having that extra weight behind the boat is really going to help you learn you know, all the shove tricks and you know, even spinning behind the boat. The board just really going to stick to your feet like you want it to and uh, it's going to stay with you when you're doing those, those harder tricks. Whether you wake skate every day or you're trying it for your first time this summer, you know, we have a board in the Catalyst line that you're going to love to ride. So get out there this summer and try a Catalyst.